When your website starts to receive significant traffic from Google's foreign sites and you have the capability of serving these international countries, then it's time to implement an international version of your website and develop your SEO strategy further. We already have talked about domains, um, subdomains and subfolders. In addition to these, implementing hreflang tags would be the next logical step. And they can really help a lot. So hreflang tells Google which version of the website should be shown in which country. It ensures that the correct language version of the site is actually shown to the right user in the correct country. Essentially, it is a way to create a better user experience. The simplest approach is you know, to have language-specific versions. You have you know, one website for all the German-speaking people or one website for English-speaking people. And you might have another one for people who speak French, for example. However, we all understand that German in Germany can differ from German in Switzerland. And the same is true for English in the States versus English in the UK. So you'll most likely end up combining regional and language-specific directives with one and each other. For example, you can set up an hreflang tag that reflects one URL that is available for French in Belgium and another one for French in France. The simplest approach to implementing it is to think about another group of HTML tags. You have to connect a set of URLs with one and each other. For simplicity, you know, let's just choose English, German and French. On all of those three URLs, you'll be adding three lines of the same code to the HTML, which is the link rel equals alternate, then the hreflang attribute with its value being de for Germany or en for English, you know, or fr for French respectively. href is the location of the language version's URL. Once this is done, Google needs to recrawl all the three URLs to see if the tag is actually present. In the interim, Google can report errors in Search Console saying that you know, there is circular references missing or that something is really broken. Don't worry about it too much. If you work with large-scale sites, it can take a long time before Google figures out you know, that all the tags are present on each and every URL. You should also be aware that it's not just possible to specify hreflang and HTML. It can also be done more globally and at scale. Personally, I would prefer to create a dedicated XML sitemap again, not only to feed URLs you know, to Google, but also to have one centralized location and a tool that is going to maintain and manage hreflangs on a very global scale. It is especially helpful when you deal with large sites. So, if you have, say, 20, 50 or even 100 different pairs of language region combinations to manage and to maintain, it will massively bloat up your source code and therefore slow down the site and it will make it really kind of unmanageable. So when the setup is getting more complex, I'd strongly vote for XML sitemaps. Very often in large organizations, this can be maintained more easily as well, as it's just one project, one job and fewer stakeholders. And you do not have to talk to different regions as well, or different teams, or different managers, and the CMS system, etc. So XML sitemaps are a good way to control and manage hreflang setups internationally. You can also deploy hreflang using xrobots headers. So basically, you can do the same within the header as you would do in HTML with your hreflang tags. This could be a feasible solution, again, say for PDFs, or you know, where you can't deploy any HTML hreflang tag instead. There's also a special directive called xdefault. So if you're looking for kind of a catch-all fallback solution regarding languages, this is what could help. Say you are serving Spain and Italy, so you've set up two hreflangs for those. Now let's further assume that you have an English site which you'd want everyone else to end up on. So serving English as a fallback would be the plan. In this case, the XD fault would be very useful. And the last recommendation would be to really make sure that you work with a tool that validates the implementation. Lots and lots of things can go wrong. You know, for example, there could be invalid you know, country language pairs or you know, some of those circular references could be missing. So automate the testing and validation to make sure before and during deployment that your actions and also the annotations are actually valid. The SEMrush site audit tool 
has a whole report devoted to international SEO and its implementation. It informs you of issues your website has with you know, hreflang values, conflicts and incorrect links, as well as hreflang mismatch issues.